Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm really sorry I cannot continue in the Basque language, but thank you for inviting me to be here in the opening session. Uh, Minister of uh, Education of the Basque Government, Joaquim Bildarrat, uh, Deputy Minister Jorge Arevalo. We have two days to speak uh, about uh, vocational training in this uh, big event that it, uh, provides a double satisfaction. First of all, because we're dealing with a subject we're passionate about, but also because we're able to see each other once again. So my congratulations to the organizations. The task we deal with is fundamental because it will determine the uh, welfare of each uh, young uh, person that has to be trained, of each worker that sees that what they did in their uh, job mm, is now changing and they need to continue training to be able to uh, work of the unemployed that wants to be back in the labor market, of those that want to progress in their career. But it's also fundamental for the economic and social welfare of a country and of its territory, for the survival of companies and of productivity and competitiveness. That's why the transformation of vocational training is so important for employability and to improve the position of each company and territory in the new financial model. We're in the fourth industrial revolution, which is transforming our daily lives and our uh, situation, which is very different to that of some years back. Jobs uh, are different, but the way in which we organize uh, our job and the way of relating to each other, as well as our way of consuming products and services, will be the same. The fourth industrial revolution integrates technology and uh, digitization in all sectors, absolutely all. Artificial robotics, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, big data, 5G, uh, internet, of things, uh, augmented reality, mobility, new materials will be part of uh, all sectors. And that's what we're addressing in this uh, conference. For the first time in the history of humanity, technological dynamism is goes so fast that we have a changes in shorter periods of time, even shorter than the renewal of generations. So we won't be able to survive with what we, uh, what we acquired in our youth. And that's why it's so important to have systems that allow ongoing uh, training uh, through our uh, careers. And the first uh, decades will mean a big uh, change in our careers. Digitization will change our working environments, the management of organizations, production uh, processes in all sectors. Knowledge is a present everywhere, but there is an agreement in that the key, the essential key for the growth of an uh, economy is uh, knowledge and training. The fourth industrial revolution is the revolution of uh, skills, of digitization and uh, intelligence. That's why the name of this conference is so important. Through uh, our lives, we need to acquire new knowledge to be integrated in our professional life, but also our personal life. You need to be more skilled to do those things that machines cannot do. On the midterm, digitization, algorithms, and other things uh, will destroy employment, but new employment uh, will be generated. And we knew that many of the professions we know will disappear or will be transformed. And we also know that at least 50% of the job positions, we're even talking about a 60%, would require that intermediate skilling and that is provided by vocational training. So it's not a due to chance that vocational training is a priority in all countries in the EU and outside the EU. 
In all analyses, uh, we've been able to identify what we need to improve our economy and to be part of this new uh, financial model I made reference to beforehand. So technology and digital transformation as well as digitization that will change the world of employment as we know it nowadays. That's why we need a vocational training linked to innovation, applied research, entrepreneurship, digitization, and sustainability in all production sectors. A vocational training system based on excellence, innovation, and I insist on this idea, public-private partnerships, and working together with uh, companies. Because technology opens up many possibilities. We need professionals and companies that can the mo make the most of them in a smart manner with training, with uh, qualifications at a technical level, but also in those permanent skills that make you a good professional that contributes an added value wherever uh, you are. That is the vocational training that we fight for in all autonomous communities and from the Ministry of Education and what we will be addressing in this conference in an autonomous region acknowledge uh, due to its uh, excellence in vocational training because they understood for many years how important vocational training is and also known for the quality of its vocational training. As you know, the Spanish government has as one of its priorities the transformation of vocational training, not only with the modernization plan that is already being implemented for vocational training, but also with actions like the creation of more than 200,000 positions, uh, creating new kinds of classrooms and also allowing uh, professionals to uh, acknowledge their skills. Also vocational training and being able to be studied in different uh, languages and also with uh, agreements with uh, private businesses. But the uh, um, law for vocational uh, training is in the uh, Parliament now in the last uh, stage, and this uh, uh, basic uh, law will be a big uh, jump for those that have been drafting it. Why? Because we integrate in one only system vocational training. Uh, it's a law of consensus, it's contemporary, and it establishes a vocational training model that is flexible, agile, accessible for all, and provides responses throughout our lives to the needs of uh, anyone at any point. And we trust that it will be um, passed by the uh, parliament in the first months of uh, next year. So I hope uh, we can uh, meet again to be able to celebrate this in February. The process hasn't been an easy one. It's been a complex uh, law but we uh, all that are part of vocational training should be very satisfied. And I believe it's a, a very good um, basic law. And I would like to finish by uh, uh, publicly uh, thanking um, the collaboration and the support of the Education Department of the Basque uh, Government. It's the uh, Deputy Minister, dear Jorge Arevalo, for the long discussions before this uh, 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 draft. Uh, so thank you, Jorge Arevalo, and uh, thank you, Minister, and I hope you have a wonderful Congress. We will all be learning. Thank you.